Hi, I hope you guys are doing great. This video is for all the Hong Kongers in Canada who wish to apply for their permanent residence on June 8, 2021. Honorable Immigration Minister Marco Mendicino he has announced two ways in which all the eligible Hong Kongers in Canada can apply for the PR. Now you have to be either a worker or a recent graduate and all the eligible candidates they must have a valid temporary resident status in Canada both at the time of application and also when PR is granted to you. So that status should remain while applying and also when the PR is being granted to you. So that temporary resident status you have. Also the other qualification with respect to language, education, work and all the eligibility criteria that we have for PR remains there. But these are new streams in which you guys can uh, apply. Also, you have to um, confirm that you hold a valid Hong Kong pass uh, passport that has been issued to you either by Hong Kong Special Administrative Region of People's Republic of China or by UK to a British national who's from Hong Kong. Now, let's take a look at streams that and the eligibility criteria. So we have stream A and stream B and we're going to quickly look at them and see which category you guys fall into. So to be eligible for stream A of this new program, you need to have a post-secondary credential from a Canadian designated learning institution that should be completed in the last three years. Also, you should have done at least half of your program in Canada, either online or in person. And eligible diploma programs must be of at least two years in length, whereas graduate or postgraduate credentials need to be at least one year in length with previous credentials earned no more than five years before the start of the program. For stream B, it is for applicants who have at least one year of full-time work X or 1560 hours of part-time work X in Canada within the last three years. They also need an eligible post-secondary credential completed within the last five years. Eligible post-secondary programs are the same as stream A except that they do not necessarily need to have been completed in Canada. So yeah, that's all about both the streams. Hope you'll surely fall into one category and... Yeah, that's all about it. So yeah, that was all about stream A and stream B. And to be granted PR, you need to show your intent to live in Canada in any province or territory except Quebec because Canada cannot control uh, about PR residency status uh, in Quebec. There's an altogether different way of going for it. So if you fall into any of these categories mentioned by me, if you're a Hong Konger and interested, then now is the time. Go for it. All the very best.